74% of the healthcare labor force is comprised of women, yet only 3% of the executive leadership of major healthcare companies are comprised of women. We categorize the business benefits that the Women's Leadership Forum delivers into three buckets. One is education and networking, two is honest conversations, and three is corporate performance. The number of venues we create for people to discuss issues that matter touches every single one of our employee offices. It touches every one of our cohorts at the company. As we think about Athena Health and think about the constituents that we represent, whether they are companies or individuals or patients, it's important to have that representative population at the highest levels of leadership. I started at the company about 15 years ago and have been given tremendous opportunities moving to different departments, working directly with our executive suite, serving as the first chief of staff for our CEO, um, helping take our services into new markets. And when I think about all of my time at the company, there have always been really strong women leaders. They are about all of the actions that we do as leaders and as Athenistas with the feedback. We're not perfect, but I don't think you would find another company who's more willing to be introspective and do the hard work to put us where we need to be. Hello, HBA. I'm Jonathan Bush, co-founder and CEO of Athena Health. I'm sorry I can't be there with you, but I wanted to let you know how proud I am of the people at Athena Health who have earned this award. As a company, we've always believed that diverse teams produce more. And a key part of that is building a more supportive environment for women in our workplace. We recognize that ensuring gender diversity is so important within the healthcare industry. Thank you, HBA, for this honor. And thank you, Women's Leadership Forum of Athena Health. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm.